All right. Well, we're you've sat through now. You, you, we, we interviewed you for a couple hours, and then you got to listen to your family for an hour. Mm -hmm. um, they were shorter than you. Mm -hmm. um, you had a couple of thoughts um, that you had while you were watching, and let's talk about your daughter. What what were surprising to you about what she said when we interviewed her? I'm surprised at her lack of memory, even after the accident, the way she doesn't remember when she was 16. And, you know, I was very surprised about that, but she could quote you things during those time periods. I was surprised um, at that and how she kind of waffled and went back and forth, but I think she realized all of a sudden, well, I guess that was during my fourth year or my fourth grade or my fifth grade. And, I think she was catching herself, oh yeah, that was, it was like realizing that she, that the timeline process like you were talking about was, was not uh, crucial to her before the accident, so therefore it wasn't crucial to her maybe after. She doesn't seem, it. she doesn't seem to have um, a concept of, of time and years and... No, that is true, the time, time and years and dates, she could coach you all the trivia stuff. And the Jonas Brothers, so couldn't she? Yeah, and but she can quote you anything trivial. That's her biggest, her funniest thing are things in a book that are about a paragraph long that teaches you about the bullhead shark. Or, Almost savant-like. Yeah, it's amazing how she can remember things like that. What about the story about the um, St. Patrick's Day treats? When did that happen? I remember her bringing treats during her tutoring time. I So it wouldn't have been St. Patrick's Day. Well, no, because I don't think her, her tutoring Could it have been Easter Bunny kind until of thing? April. Could have been Easter, perhaps? I thought it was a May Day basket. Okay. Well, that would make more sense. Mm -hmm. 